Hello, welcome to the small tutorial on how to use the scale tool and what options that we have when we're bringing in other components or perhaps you're starting one from scratch. So this is all based on an AutoCAD 2022. So I'm going to start off by making a new drawing. And it's going to load in my default template, which is a A4 for City and Guild. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to design a component very, very quickly, which is going to consist of four um, circles of 10 mil diameter radius. And these are going to be spaced at 100 mil apart. I'm going to use the copy tool and I'm going to copy them. Select the base point and I'm going to move it across like so. Now I'm going to do another line from the center. I'm going to drop this down to 50. And I'm just going to do a mirror of both components together around my new found center point. I'm going to keep the original like so. Now what I can do, I can draw a line down between the two, not have to worry too much about the spacing, and just run off of the snaps. Now I'm just going to move this a bit more centrally so I can fit in my other components. So I'm just going to pick a point, use the two snap points like so, pick the center, and drop roughly in the center of my page, roughly about there. Now, if you have any, any other components, you might want to go to insert, insert, and you might have like blocks and libraries. And if you, depends on how often you use AutoCAD, you might have something in the current drawer and recent, you might have favorite blocks that you always use. You might have like a library um, that you can pull from. So I'm just gonna go into recent blocks because I need to bring in this flange here. Now, when you bring in this flange, okay, Essentially, the center of whatever you drew it on will have a correlation with the zero, zero point. So in this case, it was drawn on the center of my A4, and then my crosshead is the zero, zero point. I'm going to put this outside of my drawing. Okay, and then it asks me some, some questions. So you've got scale factor, so I want scale of 1. Okay, um, Y factor, again, I'm just going to use this 1, and that's giving me a 1 to 1 representation of my scale. Now you can click on the option scale down here. Um, so if you click it on, you specify the scale when you bring it in. If you click it off, it'll just do a one to one to one scale. It's entirely up to you here. What you can also do is if you bring this in and you specify the scale, okay, I can bring in another one, roughly put it next to it roughly. And now what I can do is do a 0.75, and I can do a 0.75. What I've got then is a smaller scale, which should be roughly 75% smaller. So if I measure between the two, actually if I just measure the diameter. So a diameter of 120, and now I've got 90. And again, if we do some quick mass here, uh, 120 times 0.75 gives us 90 so we know that's 70 um, around and again if you're not unsure you can use the calculator tool in the top hand corner up here um, and if you press that one up up and there what that will do is that'll bring in like a little calculator window um, for you so so that's one way to do it on, on the actual scale, and you can also scale that. You could also always have a scale, so if you know something's always 50 times smaller, you can just tap that in and bring it in. The other option that you also have, uh, if I just do a quick copy of this one, uh, Control C, Control V. Uh, what you also got is the scale tool here. Now, the scale tool allows some different options, so enter to accept. Um, and again, I want you to specify a base where you're scaling from. And what you can do is you can scale this by the mouse, make it smaller, make it larger. 
So I could put in here 0 0.6 to make it 60% of the original size. If I just undo that one, do scale again. Well, also what I can do is I can scale by a reference or I can scale um, to a copy. So C would be copy, R would be a reference. Um, so specify reference length, you could put like a length that you know, so something like two. Um, specify a point, so you could pick another point. I obviously haven't done this properly here, but I could specify the second point, um, that one, and then scale then accordingly to that size. So it's obviously when it's made that distance, then the new scale which mine's massive. So um, that's also by scaling by a reference. The other option you've got is you can scale by a point. So copy, um, and then that will copy then into a new scale. So you want to do two times the scale, and you've got the original behind. Then we do a move. You then have the the upscale version below above. So you kind of got a, a best of both worlds. What you could do is also once you've got your set scale. So I'm going to scale this one to thirty percent and I'm going to do a copy of it and what I'm going to do is going to put this as a feature on my um, component over here so I'm going to come along and use the same points like so now I have a copied feature all and again I've got my original and then the original scale there so that's just a quick way on how you can use the scale tool either on insert for another block or you can use the scale function direct in AutoCAD if you have a drawing already live in that feature. So hopefully that enables you to do some more skills in AutoCAD 2022.